Hello there. This is a short video on how to plot phase change lines or condition change lines onto your graph. This can be done in various ways. You can insert a line and draw it across your horizontal line or you can use a scatter graph to do the same. Now this is a option that I'm going to show you is uh, using the error bar feature of Microsoft Excel. Now I'm using a 2013 Microsoft Excel version but the earlier versions also has this feature. Now let me take you through my rows and columns. First I have uh, days which is plotted on my horizontal axis and I have behavior which is on my vertical day axis and I have a lovely data path. And I also noted down the changes that I want to bring in, plot here, either as phase changes or condition changes. Now, D, I have D and E with a column. I, not, I haven't any values over here. I will insert with you as we go on this video. Um, so the first step is to insert an empty row where you want your phase change to happen. Now by in inserting an empty row, empty row, you can see that data path is disconnected and there's a disconnect continuity created. And this is an important thing. And you need to insert a value that's between 8 and 0 0.8 and 9 so that your phase change or condition change line will be plotted on the uh, horizontal axis exactly on that point. So I am going to put here 8.5 which is eight, between 8 and 9 and the value that I'm going to put on the face line because I'm going to plot a face line here uh, is 20 because I want my face line to go up until 20. So I put 20 here. We will do likewise for all these phase change and condition change lines I have labeled. So we have inserted empty cells and labeled it and also highlighted it so that it is easy to identify and we have put face value, baseline values here 20 I have one baseline change here and I have also baseline change between 31 and 32 and I put a value there. The two condition change lines here between 15 and 16 I have put a 15 and 5 and 23 and 24 I have put values accordingly. Now the next step is to plot them in, onto the graph so, so click on the graph and select data add data you get option and to label them so label phase change for phase change lines change and insert under x axis you insert the days here and for y axis you are going to insert column under phase lines so select that and insert your ready to plot the data click ok and click ok and you can see that two dots here which is data plotted and click on that then go to design and add chart element uh, and you see error bars over here go to more options or error bars and choose the line that you want the data series that you want and say ok and here you get click minus select no cap and change the value to 20 now you know 20 because it's highest value on the vertical axis and you can also make changes on your line is all dynamics here and we can click on this and you don't want you can just erase it by clicking the delete button and you want to add uh, a data label so you want to uh, face change labels so click on data label option and uh, more label options you can play around how you want to label to be displayed you can horizontal vertical so if you want to vertical this way let's vertical this way that's second thing and third thing you don't want this the data to be seen so you can delete it by clicking on right format data series and you get this option um, go here and marker options marker up none so it disappears 
Now this label, it want to be labeled correctly. So you can click on the label and edit this. Uh, so you can write, type in or copy and paste from the cell there. So I'm just typing in paste A. And you can likewise change it. And same way you can add the condition change, uh, plot ch condition change to your graph. So let's do that. So go click on the graph, select data, add. Label the series as condition changes. The same same thing that we are doing, repeating the same thing. Select the value under condition. OK. And Z I get plotted on on the graph. So let's click on this and go to design, add chart element. Again, go to error bars, more options, and it will ask which series. So condition changes, select. And uh, we get this options here. Click on this and select minus, select no cap, and make this 20. And for condition changes you may select a dashed line and so it's different um, and you can see it's a condition changes and click this as same as that we did and erase it by clicking delete button we don't want this data point to be seen so we click on it and uh, that is serious options we click here and marker options. No, so we marker marker is not seen there, and we edit this labels same way we did. Click on it, and you have either click twice or you have your option here. Right click and you get this option. Edit exit. Uh, yeah, that option. You just click on that and you get it. So you can edit it, but or you can copy and paste, or you can just type in whatever you want the labels are so condition change condition change p and here we have condition change yeah and you can move around a little bit if you want where you want Let's see. so we have the, the condition change lines as well as the face change lines spotted on the graph and uh, it will be fixed on this particular point of the horizontal axis it wouldn't be moving from here along with its um, labels so you can add data you can change the values um, the here on the horizontal axis let's do it and see if it is changing or not and we can move this graph into a different sheet so click on and move chart to a new sheet so this looks nice so I can just label it say ok and we have moved this and we can have also a chart title or chart title well chart so And we can just rearrange a little bit if you want. Nice, looks nice. Um, yeah. Oh, it is. Once that's done, let's see if this stays in the same place or it moves. Uh, let's change this vertical uh, horizontal axis values format to maybe 60. Six zero. So you can see we added more data or change the values here. So it stays at the exact point of value on the vertical axis between 8 and 9, here between 15 and 16, 23 and 24. 
and 30 and 30. So it, we can play with it to one more and even, even the labels changes with it. So I hope you learned something in this video. Wish you all good luck.